guys welcome back to my channel so this is just going to be i don't even know a quick video i am going to show you guys um where i started from anyways i was just messing around here i really want to do a paper cutout look like that lineless art style no i don't know if i like her hair honestly i think i'll just do that part Okay, I think that's much better. Okay, so I'm getting on Pinterest. I'm trying to find a nice color scheme. So let's do that. Oh, okay. So there's that. So everything else is going to be on top. So the skin is the base layer. So I'm going to do the skin. And I'm using a texture brush. Let me show you guys what that brush looks like. So the edges are not going to be smooth, they'll have like that edge. I thought about using this one too, with a smoother edge, but I think that one might be better. The only thing I don't like about this texture brush is once you fill in the colors, you kind of see those little spots. Put that, that layer. Okay, I want to give her white hair. So this is what we have so far. I'm going to just go in and clean up around the edges. I'm going to start working on her face. Oh, I forgot who I bought this brush from, but that's um, what it's called. ST grainy okay so I'm going to select this layer so it only affects the skin layer and then I have another layer on top of there I want to make her blush I want to have a whole bunch of texture and then I'm going to just smudge I'm gonna add a bit more blush I'm going to just that there's that you can see the little textures there and I'm gonna find a white color because we're gonna color in her eyes now Without the line art, this is what it looks like. <sighs> kind of creepy. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Okay, I'm gonna find a darker color using this brown here. I'm gonna make this brown even black. So this is going to be our darkest color on this piece. And I'm gonna go in with the studio brush for the eyeliner. parts of this character's face and that's what it's looking like right now there's her eyebrows but I kind of want them darker I like them that dark yeah I think this is fine I'm going to move on to the hair layer and then I'm just going to add some lines in here 
like around her ears where it's like scrunched up in there. Gonna create another layer and then under here, I'm going to just find a lighter color. And now I'm just going to like drop a shadow. So that shadow of her neck. And her head is gonna be right here and then the hair overlapping. Right about here. Okay, so now I am going to work on the eyes. The eyes need a bit more work. Anyway, so around the eyes is a little bit boring, so I'm just gonna go in with this textured brush and then and we're just going to add more texture around the eyes. Alright, so I think we are almost done. I just want to add some texture onto this. So I just looked up paper texture and that seems okay. I'm going to save it. Okay, so I've imported that paper texture. You can see it there. So now I'm just gonna have it be right here and then we're gonna go through the multiply layers to see which one looks good. So there's that. That kind of looks cool. It looks like a little, it looks like a watercolor type of texture. But this is a lot. <laughs> we can decrease that. So it'll look like that. So with that. And then with it just looks like she has like a popping vein right there. Like who's making her mad? Divide. So maybe that texture isn't the right texture. Let's go ahead and find like a smoother texture, maybe like a watercolor texture here. Oh, this is not really watercolor, it looks like um, cardboard, but it could be cool. Oh, this is cool. Okay, I actually like this. Ah, <gasps> y'all, do you guys see that? It just looks like paper. Let's see the other layers. Oof. <laughs> All that. Multiply is a pretty good layer too. So this is what it looks like. Without the texture, it looks like that. With the texture, it just has a little bit more personality, you know? And you can add more. You can add as much as you want or like just decrease it. So it's like barely noticeable, but it's still there. So now I'm just going to merge these layers and then we can add grain onto this piece if we like. See how that looks. So that's a lot of noise. Let's just do maybe this much, not that much. That's too much, so we're going to just dial it back. This is the final result. I'm just put a little stamp of my name on there. Lucid Nema 2020. 
all right so that is pretty much it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you all in the next one bye guys thanks for watching <laughs>